Hi guys, uh, got a video here today. Uh, no ten. Uh, first of all, I just want to give a shout out to uh, the Combat Gamer um, for doing this. So link will be in the, the description of his channel since he told me about this. And yeah, sorry about two drama videos in a row, but I thought since this is kind of GTA news, I should pretty much talk about this. Um, now this is something pretty big. This is <coughs> Rockstar Games being sued 150 million. That's a lot. Uh, so, so you're going to be thinking, who is suing them this much? And it's actually someone that used to work for them. And um, this guy's called Leslie Benzies. And apparently he's a really good, I think, developer or designer. Uh, since he designed or developed GTA Online and took part in the development of story mode so pretty pretty good um and uh, I'll, I'll just read you out a couple of paragraphs from uh, the web page that i looked at to to see the story after the combat told me about it so it got uh september of 2014 benzies went on sab sabbatical from rockstar north this January, the studio released a statement saying he decided not to return to work. In fact, when attempting to resume his duties upon conclusion of his sabbatical on April 1st, 2015, Mr. Benzies found himself unable to enter the Rockstar North office because his facility's access device had been deactivated, Bake said. After being let inside by building security, Mr. Benzies was then ordered to leave by the Rockstar North office manager without reason. The lawsuit also accuse, accuses the House Houser brothers of trying to force Benzies from the company and unjustly terminating $150 million in royalty payments based upon arbitrary I think, actions by the company's royalty allocation committee, a committee that may or may not have actually ever met. Benzies' complaints also were personal in nature, accusing Sam Houser specifically of mounting resident. Uh, resident that Benji's receives the same compensation from Take Two as the House of Brothers. So uh, this is kind of what the com combat was talking about as well. Is this gonna delay uh, the de the development of GTA Six? Uh, I'm not sure what uh, on Combat's video his response was to this, but me, I think it definitely definitely will um, affect how long it's gonna take for GTA Six to come out because. If they bring it out not so long after being sued, uh, they uh, the game is not going to be good. It's going to be a boring game uh, since that's a lot of their money gone that they could have used on GTA 6. Uh, so the graphics won't be as good. Uh, the ideas for the game won't be as good. Not nothing will be as good um, in GTA 6 if they don't have that money. Uh, so they're going to have to probably just delay GTA 6, to be honest. Which is kind of sad, uh, since <laughs> since 2013 now I've been waiting for GTA 6. Uh, but who knows what's going to happen. May maybe it'll be s loads more years now. Uh, I was expecting it just to be, I don't know, maybe two years or something. Till the next, till GTA 6. Maybe, maybe a year, two years, three years. But maybe it'll be longer now, because... They need to get uh, some money again, uh, since they won't have enough money to develop the game anymore. And and this is what the com uh, combat said too. I do know he said this, and it, it's true. Um, they don't have a good developer. Right? They have good developers. I mean, but they've lost Leslie now, and he seemed like a really good developer. Uh, and he took part in story mode and GTA Online. So that's took a guy with two important roles uh, out of Rockstar and probably out of GTA 6 now. Um, but yeah, uh, so thanks to Combat Gamer for t telling me about this. Comment what you think uh, on this. Will the game be delayed? And yeah, thanks for watching.